this just in guys oh yeah i just brought this to our headquarters the brand new 2021 polaris ranger but it's not just any ranger this is fully decked out this is a north star edition ultimate <laughs> you know it's all the craze now these days mini trucks well this has pretty much every convenience feature of a modern mini truck like a Ford Maverick or maybe a Hyundai Santa Cruz. Let me show you around. Guys, at the very end of this video, I'll let you know how much this Ranger costs. But as you can see, the North Star Edition really um, offers a full cab with basically every creature comfort. This is a three person machine, obviously a 65 inches wide machine. Of course, Polaris offers a full range of these work utility machines from two seaters all the way to six seaters, gigantic ones. But let me pull this off into this grass here so I can show you all the features. So the brand new North Star edition of the Ranger is not just about the cab and all the luxury features, it's also about the capability. So let's get to it right away. So let's look underneath the front about a year ago Polaris redesigned the front end completely as far as the mounts for the front suspension some of the other components and it's a little bit taller now than it ever was before and it's a little bit tougher than it ever was before total ground clearance is between 13 and 14 inches up here then of course part of the North Star Ultimate Edition are these tires this is a 14 inch wheel and this is a 29 inch tall Maxxis tire right here. So this is what gives you that extra ground clearance as well. It's of course part of it. Uh, the shocks, you can look in here. Um, yes, so pretty sophisticated shocks by ZF, but these are not like piggyback reservoir Fox shocks on this one. Of course, there's also the Ranger Trail Boss Edition, which is meant a little bit more for hardcore off-roading. Although this machine kind of wraps everything into one. And then, of course, this beefy bumper and an optional 4,500 pound winch. So off-road capability is there. Of course, you have skid plates underneath everywhere, protecting the A-arms, protecting your drive shaft. Um, like I said, this is a 65 inch wide machine. So it's not that gigantic 72 inch wide. So it's still kind of manageable and you could sit three people across. So let's go to the back and check that out. And then I'll show you, of course, all the nice features inside. If you know Rangers, you know this, right? It's a dump bed right here in the back with a tailgate. And this is where this Ranger is kind of similar to what Ford is doing with the new Maverick truck or what Hyundai is doing with the Santa Cruz. A thousand pounds of payload can be placed right here in the bed for this, um, I guess, single row machine. And total payload is 1,575 pounds. Yes, so it's basically like a, you know, has a payload capability of a mid-sized truck, pretty much. Let me show you the engine. Aha, dump bed. So this is basically, you've seen this before. Uh, not a lot of new stuff here, which I think is pretty good. Basically a 999cc um, engine with about 82 horsepower, and of course, a belt-driven CVT transmission. So that's kind of what you have for power. So this is not supposed to be a Razor, you know, Pro XP <laughs> turbocharged machine. This is a utility machine, which is still kind of relatively quick, but also is meant to do some work. Let's check out the rear suspension. Okay. So here, of course, the business end of the machine, your exhaust system. Once again, here's your rear suspension. You can kind of see the design of the rear um, A-arms, independent suspension, and here's your two inch receiver. I hope you can see this here. Actually, there's a lot of mud in here, so I think this machine has been somewhere else and already um, working somewhere else. Of course, this machine is from Polaris. Uh, it's here for testing, like I said. So we'll have it for several weeks and show you many, many videos with this particular Polaris Ranger. 2,500 pounds of maximum towing capacity. So that's, that's more than the Ford Maverick. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I mean, Ford Maverick hybrid, I should say. Um, so yeah, that's your capability in the back. 
So how about this? Jump in the front passenger seat. Uh, this is where it all starts with the luxury features. So of course you get these massive suicide style doors and really nice actually, really nice soft seats. Well of course with your ultimate stitching right there so you don't forget. You have gla basically glass in the back. You've got your mirror, um, rear view mirror right here. You've got your windshield. So let me fire this up because it is a warm day here in Colorado. Machine comes to life and this is, uh, you know, it's really, I haven't really used much, this much, but it's a full HVAC system with AC. Yes. You know that Ford I used to bring this machine here? The AC is out on that truck. So it's actually much better to be in this Polaris than actually in the used truck right now. So let me turn this off actually because it's making a lot of noise. Of course it has one wheel drive turf mode, two wheel drive and four wheel drive capability right there. It's got several kind of a drive modes here, work, standard and performance. Just kind of a uh, mapping of the throttle position and kind of how the transmission behaves and helps you out. Here's your gear shift, of course. This is all standard, pretty nice steering wheel. Um, and this is the right command system. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So first of all, loading the gauges. You can see it's very clearly here, high resolution. This machine's been around, so it already has 90 hours. But you have all your vital information here. Of course, you have mapping, you can hook up your devices. You can even potentially link up with your buddies and friends and also um, has cameras. So there's a reverse and a front view camera. I hope you could see that uh, without much glare. Your fuel is always shown, it's currently 76%. Um, your compass is here, your music, if you um, actually pair your devices, right there, volume. So very cool system. Reminds me of a modern pickup truck, um, you know, very cool. So then look at the windshield here. So first of all, I do have a wiper with washer system. There's a little water nozzle up there. Let me turn this off. And then I can do this. Ah, uh, so this, this can be kind of quickly turning into a kind of an open air machine. So why do you need a cab like this? For harsh climates, right? Really hot. Right now it's about, what, 85 or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Really cold, you have the heater. So that, of course, helps. Also in the desert, if it's really dusty, there's a heater. If it's really dusty, it's really nice to be enclosed. And look at this. Power windows. <laughs> this, is, this is too nice. I mean, this machine is basically a truck. Of course, you got your cup holders. You've got lots of storage cubbies all the way around. Your glove box. Glove box is here. Dual glove boxes. Cubbies up here. Your vents everywhere for the windshield. You can make it an open air experience. Let me shut this off. And also the rear glass can be popped out. I'm not gonna do it all the way quite yet, but just to demonstrate it. You see this? You, you, there's a latch on each side and then you can kind of close it and actually pop it out. So if you want, if you want to get fresh air, you can do that. And of course this is insulated, pretty nice kind of finished here with a dome light. I don't know what else to say guys. I mean, this is basically a truck which is not completely street legal. I mean, in several states you can make these street legal, but you need to have a few things like a license plate holder, license plate holder light, uh, blinkers, um, rear view mirrors, this one already has that. Um, so if you do a couple more things to it, it can be your actually, you know, runabout, which is pretty amazing. Um, and of course you're wondering about pricing. So the North Star Edition Polaris currently starts at just over $24,000. Yes, that's more than the starting price of a Ford Maverick that's coming out this year as well. And then this one you see here with the winch and a couple of other things, it's the ultimate edition, uh, is just over 28 grand. Yes, that's a lot of money, but you can see you get quite a lot uh, for that price. And come back to TFL Offroad channel and also the website tflaffroad.com 
this was just an introduction this just in and we'll take it out actually into the mud into the dirt and I probably won't get too dirty because I have windows and windshield <laughs> which is gonna be a first in a side-by-side -side for me so as always uh, check out the websites like I said and come back for more reviews on this and also a lot more other trucks and SUVs